Hi everyone, it's Rachel and I've received a lot of requests lately to make best friend charms as well as glitter charms so I thought I would combine those two ideas in today's video to show you how to make this kawaii lock and key charm pair. Before I get started I wanted to let you guys know that I'm aiming to be more active on the Crafty Amino app again and to interact with you guys a little bit more. I would really like to encourage you if you have an account or if you don't to make one, continue uploading photos of your DIYs and crafts and if you do use hashtag feedback from Rachel on your post and I will comment and you will receive personalized feedback from myself. I also have a poll running at the moment where you can all vote on which video idea you would like to see the most. My username on Crafty Amino is RagyH96 if you would like to find me and follow me and I hope to see you over there. So starting off making the base of the locks and key, I'm using some random scrap clay I had because once we cover it with glitter, you're not going to see it anyway. I'm beginning with the lock, so I took some of the scrap clay and I'm going to pinch the point with my fingers and then use the side of one of my dotting tools to help make the little crevice on the top. Once happy with the shape, take some more clay and roll it into a snake. Then just trim off the ends to make it the right size and blend both ends onto either side of the heart. For the keyhole, I firstly made an indent in the center of the lock using one of my larger dotting tools and then took one with a smaller tip to make the little triangle bit that extends off the end of it. Now add an eye pin, I chose a gold one to match the gold glitter and then put it aside while we work on the key. To start off with the key, flatten a piece of clay to create a rough circle and then using a needle tool to mark out three even sections, kind of so it looks like a clover. Next take a larger tool to make the indents wider and then smooth them out. Now take some more clay and roll it into a snake and then put it aside. Next we're making the cuts that go on the tip of the key. So I flatten out a piece of clay and I'm cutting off two rectangle sections, making them slightly different in size so they're not both exactly the same. Now it's time to stick all the parts together. So take the rectangles we just made and add them to the coil and then you can blend them on. Next trim the coil to size and blend on the very top part we made first. Once you're happy add an eye pin, again I'm using one to match the glitter so I chose silver and then bake both charms in the oven according to your package's instructions. After baking let the clay cool completely and then I'm securing the eye pins with some super glue so they don't pull out. To stick on the glitter I'm taking some Mod Podge and a brush and just covering both charms completely in a layer of glue. Next you can take the glitter of your choice, so I went for a gold and a holographic silver. It's also best to work on a sheet of paper for this step as it makes it so much easier to clean up. This part's really simple, all you have to do is pour glitter all over the charm so it sticks to the glue and then hang it somewhere to dry. As you can see the paper caught all of the excess glitter and then I could pour it straight back into the bottle. Once the glue had dried completely, I then sealed it with a layer of glaze and then also let that dry completely before painting on the face. I used acrylic paint to paint on all of the details and a small dotting tool as well as a needle tool to apply the paint because I find it a lot easier and more steady than using a brush, especially when making tiny details. And then after painting, I also added a few more layers of glaze.
Finally, if you want to turn them into charms that you can then use and share with your friends, simply attach on a small lobster clasp and close a jump ring. So that's everything for this best friends charm tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you next time. Bye guys! Here are some photos of charms made by you guys where you've used one of my tutorials or been inspired by me in some way. If you make your very own lock and key charms, don't forget to upload a photo to either Instagram or Crafty Amino and use hashtag 96 so I can see it and feature your photo in an upcoming video.